violates technical analysis, fundamental statistics, along with reviewing my current positions and the price target. Starting off with the price action, we do have this nice, obvious, pretty textbook cup and handle right here. What is this big, ugly line doing? This is actually the price target. Based on technical analysis, this is not financial advice, but this is how you draw a price target in a cup and handle, highest to lowest point in the middle. Draw it uh, and then put it at the end of the handle. We did just break out of this handle. This is one of the reasons why I will be advising you to buy the stock, but not financially. I'm just advising you as a friend, maybe consider getting a position in the stock, particularly if we do if we do if we do dip. I personally see this as a small likelihood, but of course, news catalyst. CEO gets shot in the head, market crash, flash crash, thousand possibilities that we cannot possibly cover. That's why you got to be going over every situation in your head and and thinking even if you're the most bullish person in the world, even on Tesla, even on Tesla, you must be considering a dip. Okay. Anywhere from $1.25 to $1.21. This is going to be an extremely strong level of support. We have validated this as recently as the last trading day, 12th of February on Friday, and as far back as the 21st in January. Okay. This is not breaking in my opinion. Okay. Of course, news. CEO, right? We already went over all this stuff. Anything can happen, but personally, less than a 5% chance of this support level breaking in my humble, non-financially advisable opinion. We did break out of this handle. We did break out of this descending level of resistance. This is an extremely bullish sign. Let's take a look at the exact price target. Okay, This is the price target based on the cup and handle that I just drew up. $1.83 is the price target. That's like, what is that? I, I can't even do that math. What is that? Like 50%, 30% increase, something like that. Okay. Huge upside. If we hit the price target, it's not necessarily guaranteed to happen. Nothing is. We do have two levels of support of resistance and three actually coming up soon. If we were to try to hit that, yeah, there's going to be a ton of sellers, but this is a great long-term stock. In my opinion, you can see I am biased. Yeah, I'm biased, but you make your own decisions and you don't listen to me blindly. Okay. Here's the institution. Here's the insider ownership. This is an extremely bullish sign. This is one one of the reasons why I think you should be considering taking a position in this if you have the funds, if it's if it's a good uh, fit for your own risk management and risk tolerance, okay, all the things, if you're bullish, if you like the industry, all that crap, okay, do your own research and do deal with this, but this is an extremely bullish sign, 11%. 11% is extremely high, the insider, insider ownership. Institutional ownership, 8%, extremely high. Again, well, not extremely high. This is not proportionate as high as 11, but this is still very high. Institutional transactions, this is very important, 4%. This is plus 4%. Okay, how do I know it's plus 4%? Okay, when there's these black these black stats on fin on Finvis, this is Finvis, okay, take it for what it is, right? When you have these on these black stats, it's not going to be red or green like these ones. There's just going to be a minus or nothing, right, on the positive, okay? So this, these are positive. This is positive, okay, 8% total. Let's take a look at uh, the insider ownership on Fintel to get a more uh, macroeconomic multiple source of information, right? If one of these sources is bad, you know, you know, hopefully we'll get more information on all of them. Okay. More information, the better inside insider ownership. 13%. This is different than this one. Okay. These, these, these sites are both updated. Uh, I did, I, they're both updated today, but I think this is different because they both get their information from different brokers. I believe I could be wrong on that. I did read the fine print on this and that is basically my, what I extrapolated from that, but this is an extremely bullish sign. Okay. Either way, either 14% or 11%. Okay. Almost 14%. This is extremely be bullish sign. Reddit, this will be linked for your viewing pleasure. You're welcome. BioLace due diligence, partial due diligence. Do not let this count as your full due diligence. Give this a read. It's very short. Okay. If you're not a reader, this is a good, this is a good start to start reading. Okay. You should definitely start reading these Reddit threads. Extremely good information, but this is just some random guy, right? They get a ton, you know, 507 people did basically verify this as good information to a certain extent, right? Likes, you know, a certain extent, right? But take it for what it is. Be objective. These guys can be wrong about anything just as I can. It's not financial advice. Remember that. Okay. Give us a read. You need to know this. Okay, this is one bullish reason. This is why this is a recovery play. They're in the dentist space. Dentist, dentists have not been doing good lately, if you haven't noticed, but because of the pandemic, okay? A lot of them are doing absolutely horrible. Most of them have been obliterated. This is a great buying opportunity. Once, okay, once the vaccines, you know, once we start getting back to normal, way, okay, it's basically bound to happen. It's, it's I'm not going to say it's imminent, but it's definitely inevitable. Okay, eventually, I'm going to say it's inevitable, 100% uh, in the next couple five years. Okay, five years. Okay, I think it's. I think we're going to be back to normal sooner than that. But who knows, right? Who knows? Okay, so this is a recovery play. This will get better as the world starts to get better as far as the pandemic. Okay. Current positions. How do you actually know if I'm in these positions? Well, how do you know if I'm not just writing these down, right? And being one of those fake YouTubers, I could name about a dozen off the top of my head that I don't think anyone should trust. 
but I'm not going to do that because I'm not ready for that kind of hate. But because I know a lot of you guys probably listen to them, but I don't, I do not like, and I basically have evidence to prove that they, they kind of are not that good. But this is actually my account. This is Weeble. This is one of my brokers that I use. I also use Robinhood and Charles Schwab, but this is exactly how much money I have in every single one of these stocks. Okay. Uh, BioLace. That's a good BioLace. Okay. Total cost $2,300 almost. Okay. This is eight, 16% of my portfolio. Okay. This is, I'm serious about this guys. Okay. You know, it's not BioNano. It's not a BioNano by any means, right? 25% on this one, right? But it is, it is one of my bigger positions. Okay. Third biggest position and uh, as far as position ratio right so this is i'm extremely bullish on this company okay do your due diligence guys and i think you may be too this is not financial advice though end of year in bull case price targets this is coming up soon buy hold or sell this is not financial advice either okay <laughs> it looks like financial advice okay? this looks like something that would be financial advice but it is not financial advice this is entertainment, right? But this is a this is a strong buy in my opinion. This is the tied for the third highest buy rating in my opinion for BioLace. Okay, give it a give it a give it some consideration. Okay, relevant information in regards to how do I finish now? Feel free to click off, my friends, if you have better things to do. Extra useful information. A few YouTubers, I've, a lot of them are not like this. Okay, but these three are the best in my opinion. After the one and only, of course, I'm in my own color and everything, right? <laughs> but dead inside. He's the most accurate, probably mo on most of this stuff. I would say dead inside is probably the most accurate. Okay, trace trades is the most transparent. After me, um, zip trader is probably the second most accurate. Um, in after dead inside, okay, trace trades ac is accurate too, of course. But you know, and of course, these guys all pale in comparison to the one and only, right? Okay, of course. But on a serious note. I am the only one to my knowledge to show all my positions, my account, my exact price targets for my positions with no ads, no wasting time in the relevant section. This is the irrelevant section where I am allowed to waste your time. Be wary of, of letting me ramble on in these sections. It gets pretty crazy sometimes. All right. Be careful in the comments. Bitcoin bots are here. Be careful. Instant target price is being hit. Expectations do not expect a microvision every single time. Okay. We've already hit our price target. We hit that like within the first week of my month out price target. We hit that like within the first couple of days, I think. Do not expect that every time, please. Hedging and reducing risk in the market. One way to do that. This. UVXY, this has an inverse relationship with the broader markets. This is basically if the market crashes and you have like 7% of your portfolio in this, like I do, for example, okay, here we go, UVXY, $1,000, $1,200 total cost almost, you will make hundreds to thousands of percentages uh, in return if the markets crash. Okay, I don't want the markets to crash. I'm not a bear. This is just how I reduce my risk. Okay, it's only 7% of my portfolio. I make more money if the rest of my portfolio goes up, which they will if the broader markets go up. In my opinion, that's the only thing that, that can basically screw over these positions in my opinion not financial advice i truly do appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments which are extremely positive thank you all please not hesitate to call me out on something if i'm missing something in the charts fundamentals or anywhere else use several brokers countless advantages to this i do recommend weevil it is my favorite stock favorite favorite broker sorry follow stocks you own on reddit and twitter free stocks with weevil in the description pre-market after hours trading this is why if you don't know what pre-market, pre, how pre-market and after hours trading works, it's very useful. It's, it's a huge benefit to traders who actually can take advantage of this. Weeble is one of the best brokers. It, it is the best broker, in my opinion. Okay. It's definitely one of the best. Everyone considers it one of the best. I think common what stocks need to cover next. I will cover them in the next medical meta mega technical analysis video. Probably open a Roth IRA. Weeble does offer this. <laughs> Another reason though, good to use Weeble. It's the best broker, guys. I'm serious. Comment any questions. I will answer them. The future of in this channel does not consist of likes asking for likes or subs or or putting ads there will never be ads i will never ask for subs or likes during the relevant section and i will probably never do any of this well i will never do ads any but i may ask for these in the future in this section but not really okay i haven't done that yet but you guys know what you can do okay <laughs> But at the same time, what you guys can do to make no ads, the YouTube standard, is support the channel because the more people we get, the more people start getting used to this quick format, high quality, no wasted information until this point. The, high, the more people we get, the more growth we get. This is the other YouTubers are going to start having to compete because people are going to get used to this amazing standard. No ads, no BS, no wasting time. They're going to have to start changing them to keep up with the competition, right? It's just how business works. Hey, YouTube is a business, right? From the creator standpoint, it practically is a business. Okay, this is my business model, right? High quality information, technical analysis, fundamental statistics, and catalyst due diligence partially. And this, okay, this is a huge, fr no BSing, no so, no asking for this crap, no ads, okay? So that's what you can do.
support the channel if you want to see this become the new youtube standard seriously i i do plan i fully intend on making that the new youtube standard okay i don't know if you guys are are as done with ads as i am but i am done with them okay guys thank you so much and i will see y'all in the next one